Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Mindy Egan for Tailored Expressions and in today's video I'm going to be creating three cards using the new blending brushes that I released. Now if you know me you know I'm all about that ink blending. So first let's take a look at the supplies. For cardstock, I'll be using Sugar Cube cardstock and Oreo cardstock. I also have the white glitter cardstock, and the stencils are the Breezy stencil and the Crisscross stencil. I'll also be using the Simple Strips Crafty and Simple Strips Coordinating Die. I also have the Brighter Days stamp and the Coordinating Die, and then the Heart Stackables. For inks, I have Oreo, Saltwater Taffy, Cupcake, Raspberry Sorbet, and Mulled Wine. And on my other card, I'll be using Cupcake, Peaches and Cream, Pineapple, Mint Julep, Saltwater Taffy, and Lavender Glaze. A few other of my supplies include the tape runner, some tweezers, an embellishment wand, and some glitter gloss, and also the Stickles Glitter Gel. I also have a palette knife and the berry art glue and a few other supplies along the way, including some clear drip drops. Now I'm going to be starting off with the breezy stencil, which has a lot of lines on here. So I'm going to spray it with some pixie spray, which is a low tech adhesive. I'm going to set that off on the side for a few minutes to dry. And then I'm lining up my sugar cube cardstock with the masking rectangles stencil, just lining up those etched lines. And this is going to give me a really nice white margin around my card. And then I'm putting on the breezy stencil on top. I love layering up my stencils like this. I will take the light blue handled blending brush and I'm going to apply the saltwater taffy ink onto my background. This is a super light blue, so I'll just quickly apply a light covering of that over my sugar cube cardstock. Once I have that entire panel covered, I can remove my breezy stencil and also that masking stencil. Now sometimes the, the pixie spray will leave kind of a sticky residue behind. It doesn't ruin the cardstock, but an easy way to remove it is just taking one of those rubber erasers and just kind of going over that. That way it'll just take off any of that residue and it's gonna leave your card nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna move on to my next background. So I'm gonna do all of my ink blending first and come back and make the cards at the end of the video. This one is with the crisscross stencil, which I also sprayed with Pixie Spray. And this one I'm going to create a really, really pastel rainbow. Honestly, pastel colors are really hard for me because I like bright colors, but I do love having a brush for these light colors when I want to do an ombre effect or, for instance, this light colored rainbow. So for the rainbow colors, I am using cupcake, peaches and cream. This is the pineapple, and I had to make sure to, to be real careful how I applied that ink because that yellow can be really bright. Then coming in with the mint julep, and I'll follow that up with the saltwater taffy. And then my last color will be the lavender glaze, and I'm just slightly blending into the next color so that each one has a smooth transition. Once I have all the ink blending done, I wanna leave this in place. I'm going to apply that stickles on top. So I'm just taking a, a rag, and I'm gonna wipe off any excess ink that was on top, leave this in place and then I'm going to bring in that stickles glitter gel and I believe this is in moon dust and it's just a really gorgeous kind of iridescent gel and it really is a gel texture I'll show you here in a close-up now the thing with this is it does take quite a while to dry compared to uh, any other type of gel that I've used so I'm scooping a little bit out with my palette knife and I'm going to run this across my entire background. I do go back and forth and I do kind of go over the lines in the direction that they're going. I want to make sure that those lines have complete coverage all over my background. Now when I do clean up with this glitter gel, I just wipe off my palette knife and my work surface, which is a glass media mat, and I wipe it up with a baby wipe and the stencil cleans off real easily in the sink with just some soap and water. 
Now, I'm also being careful not to apply too much of this. The more you apply, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I just want a really thin layer of this. Once I'm happy with the coverage, I'm going to carefully peel away that stencil and give you a close-up look here of this gorgeous background with the pastel colors and all of that glittery goodness. Moving on to my third background, this is where having the three different colors really come in handy for your brushes. So I'm starting off with a light layer of cupcake ink, and this is using the breezy stencil. Then I'm going to bring in my pink handled, my bright pink handled brush, and I'm going to apply that raspberry, raspberry sorbet all around the edges. I'm going to leave the center that light pink, but I want to cover the edges of this. And then after I warmed up my red handled brush, I'm going to ink blend using mulled wine. So this really came in handy. I could really get the true color of ink because I had those three different color handled brushes. So it's, it's just really convenient and it makes me really happy. <laughs> so I'm going around all of those edges. I don't want to go in too far because I still want to show the three different gradient of colors and then just carefully peel back that stencil. For sentiments on two of my cards, I'm going to use the Simple Strips Crafty, which is a red rubber stamp. So I'm going to make sure I remove that foam insert out of my Misty tool, line up my stamp set on the door of my Misty, and I'm going to prep my Oreo cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. Then I'm going to ink up my stamp with some Versamark ink, which is just a clear sticky ink. And when you're inking up your stamp here, your image, you want to make sure you're also inking up those squares. That is one of the great tricks of these simple strips sen sentiments is that these are going to be really easy to die cut all of these at once. So make sure you're inking up those squares on the end. And then I can stamp this down onto the Oreo cardstock. And I'm going to sprinkle on some Tailored Expressions white embossing powder tapping off any of the excess back into my container. And after my heat gun is really nice and hot, I'm going to come to my cardstock and melt all of that embossing powder, including those squares on the end. So this is the simple strips of die and I'm lining up those squares on the die with the squares on my cardstock that I heat embossed. Then I hold that in place with the purple tape, run that through my die cut machine. And I have all of these great sentiments. I only need a couple of them for my cards, but the rest I can put away in my Tailored Expressions storage and use for a future project. Now for the assembly of my cards, I trimmed this panel down to three and three quarters by five inches, which is my favorite size for a front panel. And I'm attaching it with a tape runner to a sugar cube panel of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So a US A2 size card front. And then I took the heart stackable and die cut that out of the white glitter cardstock. I lined that with some foam squares and I'm going to attach that towards the top of my card in the middle. And after I have that secured down, I'm going to add a sentiment strip. So I'm lining that with the berry art liquid glue just in the center of that sentiment strip. Line that up and I'm going to hold that down for just a few seconds. Make sure that's really adhered well to that glitter cardstock. And that's going to finish off my first card. So really easy to create. And I love having that gradient of color. For the second card, this is my glitter gel one. I wanted to keep the focus mainly on that pattern, the crisscross pattern and uh, the glitter gel. So I trimmed this down to the three and three quarters by five inches, added that to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of sugar cube cardstock. And then I trimmed off the flag on the sentiment strip just on one end, lined that with some black foam squares, and then I'm adding that to the front of the card. And I trimmed off that end because I wanted it to be flush with the edge of my card front. So after I adhered that down, I'm just finishing it off with a few of the clear drip drops using the Berry Art glue and an embellishment tool. So that finishes off card number two. And card number three honestly almost didn't happen. The card number three is using that uh, breezy stencil with this uh, saltwater taffy ink. And I struggled with it at first because it was just so light that I'm not used to it. So I kind of got out of my box a little bit. 
and I'm using the Brighter Days stamp set. I had stamped and colored the rainbow off screen, uh, colored with my Copic markers, and die cut that out. Now I lined it up on my card front so I had an idea about where my sentiment could go and after aligning my sentiment using the grid lines on my misty door, I'm inking this up with the Oreo ink and stamping that down onto my card front. To add a little bit of dimension to my card, I die cut out that rainbow using the coordinating die and I die cut it from the white cardstock three times and I'm going to just layer them together with a tape runner. I did this mainly because I wanted to have even coverage for my dimension and I thought this was the best way to do it. You could certainly trim down foam squares if you wanted to do it that way. Then after I have that front one attached, I can add this to the front of my card right above my sentiment. And I thought that just came together really well so I'm glad that this idea came to me and I could still use this background. And to finish it off, I just added a little bit of glitter with a glitter gloss pen. So that will complete my third card for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these cards and it has inspired you to create and check into the new blending brushes from Tailored Expressions that are listed on their website at tailoredexpressions.com. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.